Morning! Fancy the wee day on the river. It's a bit windy so I'm going to have to use the van as a windbreak. Car park's flooded. Which is nice. The jetties are okay, the jetties are just above water. I have a bloody big heron that's been following me around the car park. I must think I'm going to feed it. And it's a strange one today because as I arrived I wondered what the hell was out there. Yeah. I don't know what's happened. But that's not gonna buff out. Let's see what today brings. Some mighty squawk. Here's what it was. Old Mr. Heron. Scared the absolute Christ out of me. Well done, bird. Daft big bastards after my dead bit. You can't have it, bird, it's frozen. It's not good for you. No, 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 fuck no, you're not getting it. Look at it. Gone away, shoo shoo. Look at it, it's going for the dead bit on the trace. See, here it comes. Crazy, crazy thing. Look. Gone away. <laughs> it's not for you. Go oh, shoo shoo. Not for you. You crazy bastard of an animal. <sighs> I've never in my life seen a heron so cheeky. I best be quick with these and get these cast out before the before the bugger starts to take a piss. Oi, shoo shoo, go on, you crazy bastard. If I can cast this without this fucking Looney Tune trying to get it. <laughs> I've never in my life seen a heron like that before. You are one cheeky bastard, aren't you? Set the, set the drag. Just you behave. Never ever seen that. I wonder 
before they come back here now when I've got the bed, bed box open. Look, he's back. You're going to be a YouTube star, fella. Yes, you are. I'm going to have to think of a name for you. Mm-hmm. A nice name. Look at him. No fear. Here it comes. Run away, you crazy fucking thing. <laughs> I cannot believe you. You are definitely hungry bird. I'll make you a deal. If you leave me alone when I take that heron off in about an hour, I'll give it to you. How does that sound? Tighten this drop arm up.
too far into the flow because four ounces, five ounces isn't holding. So let me try and cast this a bit shallower. If you're too far out in the flow, you're just going to be destroyed with the flow all day. So you just want to get it. On the on the edge of the flow. There we go. That should be better. Yeah, that's holding the bottom. one down again I see you, there's no point turning your head into the hide yes you yeah maniac So even with casting this one short, it's now basically straight in front of me. So I put it up there, and the five ounce leads basically come to rest straight in front of me. And this one's a nice big herring, and this one's a smelt. The smelt is a nice big turbo smelt. I'm thinking about putting two more rods up on that platform there. Or I might put one in here just at this corner. I just fish in this little shallow bit here with the weeds. Put something nice and stinky in the margins here. That could be a better plan. That's a better plan. Jesus. Well, hello there. I have a friend. He's been here the whole morning. He's at a bluey, in fact I'll show you that now. Look at him. Look at <laughs> He's went after every bit I've tried to put on hooks. He's tried to fly off with my fucking bacon sandwiches, or my bacon for my sandwiches. And now, he's just chilling out there. Every now and then when the rain gets too hard, he steps in there between the kettle and the brivy. And when I move, he takes a step back. I have never in my life seen a heron that has been this tame. Or this cheeky, really haven't, never. But, fair play to him. He's living his life. I have a cup of coffee out here. I'm on the river. As you can hear, it is raining. Raining quite a lot. But, we have the brolly up, so everything's good. You are still determined to get fed, aren't you? I've given you a used roach, I've given you a bluey. What more do you want? You've tried to eat my bacon? Yes, you, you prick. Just then. Well, this isn't a bad one. Might be a nice upper double.
might even be pushing 20. Just hooked in the corner of the mouth. Calm down, calm down. I am going to weigh this boy, but I'm going to have to set the uh, the scales up first. So I'm going to put them into the retaining sling. And I have my dumbass hair in there thinking, oh good, this could be lunch. He would eat you hair and go away. Right, let's put him into the margins to chill and then we'll get him weighed. Oh. Oh, right. Ooh. 17 pounds, 4 ounces. Seventeen pounds, four ounces. Let's try for a second photograph before you freak out, boy. Isn't she beautiful? Nice, lean, strong, river fish in perfect, perfect condition. Oi, oi, oi. Right. Let's get her released back in the water. Look at that beauty. Look at her. Cracking River Pike. On you go. Today is not a blank. Well, it's a good day so far. We've had a run and it's been a nice upper double, 17 pounds. My heron friend is still trying to pinch my bacon. So you see. Anything shiny at all in your spawns. So today's episode of cooking with scopes could be uh, cooking with scopes whilst chasing a fucking heroin away, a heroin away with a pair of tongs. <laughs> oh, that was funny, was it? Oh, just put this on here for the time being. Hasn't been a bad day. Got some nice brioche bread. Got some decent bacon, and I'm going to have some uh, some chili sauce with it. Just to give it a bit of a kick. Because it is a bit nippy. Weather forecast says it's going to be about 9 degrees today. So just looked in the van. The van says it's about 6 degrees. So we don't quite know. 
Wat? It's gonna be good. Bacon rolls. And some nice hot sauce. And then maybe a cup of coffee. Well, that fucking sucks. Chirpy McChirpy bollocks here. See it? Chirping. Flew down onto the jetty. Took the rod off the two bank sticks. Sent the rod into the river. So I managed to get the rod back. But knocked one of the bank sticks with a fucking Delcom TXI alarm. So 134 pound for the alarm. Then the snag ears, another 20. Then the, then the bank stick, Signet 2020 bank stick, another 20 quid. Stage stand, another 20 quid. And this chirpy cunt's down here fucking giving it large. Listen to it. It's been a pest all day. I should come back and shoot the fucking thing. A few moments later. This clown's back again. Look at him. So good job, I'm an animal lover, you, you fucker. Otherwise I'd have hit you with the golf club. Yes, you. Okay, I'd have had to go to my parents' house, borrow one of my father's golf clubs, then drive back down here, but you'd be getting fucking smashed with a sandwich. Fucking prick of an animal. More moments later. Just trying to calm down a bit now. I suppose I should just be thankful that I did manage to get my rod back. Cause that would have been a real kick in the tits, that. Lose a Dave Blumbit Blaster plus a Shimano XTA Super Bit Runner. That would be a real, real ball like that. I've looked on eBay. I've got a second hand bank stick and a stage stand for £16. I don't care if they're second hand. That replaces the bank stick in the stage stand. I just have to find the replacement uh, Delcom now. Told my wife. I said to my wife, I'll just This is the text I sent to my wife. Fucking heron just smashed into my rod, sending it flying into the river. Snapping off the bank stick. Managed to get the rod back out of the river, but I've lost the bank stick and the Delcom alarm. Bank sticks and the stage stand are £20, well £20 and £15. Plus postage. The Delcom alarm at the time was brand new, it was £135. But at least I got the rod back. She asked, is it deep in the water? Has there like a river deep? I said, yep, yeah, can't even see it. So I'm gonna have to replace them. So it's gonna have to go on to a list of shit that needs to be replaced this year. It's gonna be an expensive year. I make it a point in these videos not to bring up uh, that where I work. I make it a point not to bring up work or anything like that there. We all have to work, we all have to pay bills, we all have to, you know, to do things, you know. But since the whole COVID thing, I have been furloughed and that's been difficult. We were meant to get into our new house in March, but as you all know, COVID happened in March. So we couldn't get in in March. It dragged out until July. Even though the house was empty, uh, everyone was happy to sell it. I mean, the, the house that we bought the previous owner and had passed away, so it was his estate was been his estate was been left in charge of a solicitor. His sister was in another part of the country. So she just wanted rid of the place, she just wanted it sold. 
So all everything was happy to go through, but COVID just stopped it from March through to July, which was a bit of a bit of a ball ache. But you know these things are sent to test us. Get into the house in July, and the house needs it needs a lot of all these decorations. It needs it needs to be given you know TLC. I mean we wanted a fireplace because the fireplace it was it was old. We wanted a log burning stove that heated up the radiators as well, so that's been fitted. You know, eventually we want the PVC windows and doors. We want a new kitchen, new bathroom. Fitted bedrooms. You know, so there's like a laundry list of stuff that we would like. Which is difficult when you are on... Uh, 80% of what you normally get. Now I'm not complaining about being uh, on 80% of my pay because I know that there's people out there that are without pay. They, they just lost their jobs. So I'm not complaining. It just makes life a little bit more difficult. This is why the project, fixing up the boat project, is taking so long because, you know, Christmas, people have to get things bought for them. So, this isn't a gripe about about uh, being poor. Everyone knows that I'm poor. <laughs> this is just me explaining that the boat pro project will take a while to get sorted out. Last week it was dog walkers leaving excrement everywhere. This week it's a day at wildlife. But at least I caught something this week. At least I caught something this session. Nice river fish. Upper double. I'm happy with that. I don't think I'll be staying out till dusk. I think I could probably just pack up now and go home. I've lost the mojo for the angling today, if you know what I mean. Cannot believe that bird managed to take out a rod and a bank stick in one fell swoop. All I heard was a squawk and a crack, and I thought, oh shit. Please don't be let my, my rod, please don't let her have smashed the rod. And I run down to the edge of the jetty, got the landing net in, snagged the fishing rod, but the bank stick with the alarms away. <laughs> so, we have the rod, we have the rail. I'm going to have the rest of my cup of coffee and then I might have a slow pack down and leave. I swear, these things are sent to test your patience. <laughs>